So we're on our way to Japan, but first, China for our layover. Just woke up and we landed. We're headed to the bus that will take us to the Beijing airport, one of the biggest airports in the world. Look at that. And then Ning picked us up, our super host for Airbnb, bringing us to his apartment. Here's his little apartment, his little room, all organized and cute. This is the key. This is a little living room slash kitchen, giving us the Wi-Fi, which didn't matter because I forgot China blocks all the social media like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and such. He took a picture of us because he likes to take a picture of his guests or him with his guests to put on his wall so he could see all the guests who has stayed in his little apartment. Hello. So we're at Beijing. I'm tired. I'm still sick. Um, it's my birthday week too, so this kind of stuff. We're at an Airbnb place. I'm just chilling. Tired. 12 hour flight. Jet lag. It's 9.38 p.m. here. We're going to try to get um, exchange our currency. RMB. 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 So we could go Great Wall of China. I don't know if it's a possible trip, but we'll try it. Such a cute place, and he's considered a super house. He's awesome. He even picked us up. He's outside. Bye. We're on our way to exchange our currency, and it's very dark when you walk out, so it's very sketchy and scary. But at the park, surprisingly, there's a lot of older people who are dancing and doing salsa or such and walking like normally. But to us, it's very scary, you know. The only light that we had so far was by the businesses around, such as here. Walking could be a little scary because cars just come and go. And sometimes they might not see you, I don't know, it's very scary. So we're at the McDonald's in Beijing. So, cool. Some fries with like, Cheese and is that cheese? I don't even know what to order. I just wanted soup. <laughs> I want to try it. Wow, you have rice bowls. That's awesome. Ning brought us to the train station early morning. He bought us some little snacks, vendors on the side, such as pork buns and some milk. Oh, story time! So I thought, okay, this will be chill to go on the train because we're going to Great Wall China. Everyone squished the line and freaking ran. And I was like, so I ran to her out of breath. On our way to the base of Great Wall of China. So lost. <laughs> Going on another bus to take us to the base of the Great Wall of China. Here you could buy your ticket. One ticket is a cable card to bring you to Great Wall of China. The second ticket is to let you enter the Great Wall of China. Hi, we're 
at the Great Wall of China here. You can see the view over there. Everyone's walking here. It's, it's traffic today. It's a little crowded. And it's proceeding. I'm just walking um, oh, a good shoot. distance away. You know how good this is? There's none. There's none. <laughs> Damn. It's crowded in the Great Wall of China. It's really crowded. And I'm dying. Finally. My mom's calling. Mom, I'm at the Great Wall of China. Okay, bye, for a layover, this is not bad. We'll come back for next time. You really want to walk a lot and like see more of the Great Wall. It sucks. It's okay. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Even on the Great Wall, my mom still has good like connection. But at my house, they don't have any. As a sucker I am, I stopped and took pictures with a camel. It was good. And then we got lost again, so we had to ask for directions to bring us to the, the station. But they ended up having a conversation within each other, explaining to each other that, no, this is the way, no, this is the way. But they didn't really speak English that well, so it was really hard to communicate. We just, they just ended up bickering, so we just said thank you and we waved goodbye because it didn't lead us to anywhere. Miraculously, we found the train station. It was, that's a long story also, and we're running. Because people want to get a seat. <laughs> Turns out it was so packed that we had to sit on the floor for two hours. Or actually stand up for two hours. It's been a really long day. We're tired. Long story short, we're late for a flight. Was it worth to go see the Great Wall of China? I think so, but he doesn't, because we're going to miss our flight. I'm tired, it's hot, I just got it. <laughs> it's so scary to walk around in China because a lot of cars just keep going and won't stop. So you have to actually be confident, I guess, and just go for it and they'll stop. But you know, it's very scary, so yeah, just try to be careful. And then this is our new Airbnb because we missed our flight, which will have a whole backstory of my our bad luck. And then we made our flight. Woohoo! It was a long journey. But I did not expect it. Thank you for watching. We made it. We made it. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs>